Hey guys, what's going on everybody today? Uh, in this video I want to show you the Liquid Smooth ROM for this phone. Um, Liquid Smooth based on 4.2.2 Android uh, open source of course. So now let's boot into recovery. This version in particular only works with the SafeStrap recovery uh, 3.11 so now let's boot into recovery and then select liquid smooth rom now when you install this rom um please check that you installed it in rom slot 3 but because it will not work in any other rom slot i will show you what i mean in the recovery so just install the rom and the g apps for 4.2.2 on the um, Goo uh, website or from Goo Manager boot options ROM slot 3 activate and um, reboot system and let's check out this beautiful boot animation I will show you um, a, a short short um, I will give you a quick look and uh, then skip the video to what I actually want to review is the ROM. And there are a lot of amazing features I want to show you. The phone vibrates one time and um, the screen will stay black for approximately 5 seconds and then you will see the boot animation. Yeah, we're here. Nice boot animation, and um, yeah, the phone boots very fast with 4.2.2, and I love it on this phone to have 4.2.2, such an amazing device. I said it uh, several times in other videos, amazing phone with great performance, and you saw I don't, um, I didn't have to skip um, a sequence in this video because it boots so fast, very, very nice. So you get all 4.2.2 features, of course, the uh, lock screen widgets and nice animation and you can unlock everywhere. Yeah, awesome. And let's begin with the simple part, the wallpapers of uh, Liquid Smooth, Liquid Papers. Now these are um, synced um, online, so you don't have to worry about um, memory on your phone space. These are online and when you <laughs> go to the next page, it will force close, I guess. No, this time it won't. But sometimes it force closes and it won't show you the other awesome wallpapers which you see here. Let's choose this one and you can also save to storage and uh, when you don't have so much storage you can also set it as wallpaper directly and it will, yeah it looks awesome and the screen is very sharp on this phone still. Quarter high definition, very nice and of course the uh, status bar is like you would expect it from 4.2.2 with these uh, tiles here. This phone comes with um, the Nova launcher when you install 4.2.2 Liquid Smooth. Let's go to settings and about phone and I will show you that it's 4.2.2 Liquid JB uh, 4.2 uh, version 2.4 Yeah, okay when you tap on Android version, it will say Liquid Smooth. And let's go to settings. That's very cool, this feature. You can, uh, under the um, menu wireless, you can also check the dark li liquid, which I just activated before this video. You can also turn it on, uh, off, sorry. And you will get the Holo UI with these faded blacks and these grays when you tap on on 
it will all change to uh, blue and black. So the first chapter here in uh, customize is interface. And oh my god, this phone has so many features now, which you can customize very nice. You can also check tablet mode if you want to, and um, also phablet. Very nice, and you can also force dual panel. And you can um, change the uh, the functions of the menu keys here and the home button and back button and stuff. Custom carrier label, you know it. You can change this. Lock screen options, of course, custom wallpaper, battery status. It's all safe explaining, I guess. Targets, custom lock, lock screen targets. Also very cool to have. And also widgets. You can uh, tap on all widgets to allow to use all widgets on your phone. So that's nice. You can also check the nav bar, but um, you won't need it because you have hardware keys, soft keys, and you can also go to performance and overclock it. But this will only work with another kernel. Don't know, don't want to mess around with uh, the stock kernel here. You can undervolt it and you can change the government, <laughs> government, governor and set on boot. And you can, yeah, like I said, you can undervolt. No, not here, but you can also change, um, check the deep sleep and stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's performance and you can also Enable Pi Control, which is very nice. Show always. Second layer also and trigger options. Yeah, it works very nice. The Pi Control. It will show you. And uh, maybe I should um, make a review for that for Pi Control. It's basically makes your life easier here. You can go back and never use these keys anymore. Yeah, looks great so far. A lot of features. I will make a review for Pi Control itself because there are too many features. Or you just type it in in YouTube and you can see other great YouTubers explaining that. But um, yeah, that's the customization. And um, yeah, it won't end here because there's another chapter called Interface. Don't know why it's two times here. Maybe uh, too many features to fit in one one menu. Power menu, of course, you can uh, check also screenshot and expand the desktop, which is very cool. You can um, uh, hide the status bar in some apps uh, where you don't need it and um, you will have more. Screen real estate, yeah, works nice. Um, yeah, expanded desktop, you can also uncheck it again. Of course, all AOKP and CM10 themes work with this ROM. Very great. And um, yeah, the status bar, of course, like an AOKP. You can uh, mess around with it. Change the battery icon now in this ROM, you have many battery icons and I always like to see that because I love changing my battery icons very much. You get the solid circle with no percent. Of course you will get the mini icon with the small battery bar. The dot dotted circle with percent which is my favorite and you can also go to percent of course only the number and you can also change the circle color let's do this let's choose uh, your favorite color which is pink and the percent text color to match great with white yeah amazing 
looks great. Also battery bar location, you can choose status bar. So we'll get it like MIUI, MIUI look here. And this ROM is so fast, it's amazing. You can see it makes this phone fly. Love it. Open the settings, go to bottom and up and status bar. No lag at all, even if multitask. Now I can show you this little icon here. You can press it and um, kill all the tasks which run in the background. I think you can also um, show the the RAM which is used right now. But I'm not sure about that. I Maybe I found it. No. Um, just mess with it yourself and check all the options you get. Also quick settings. Auto clause panel is very neat to have. So when you check your Wi-Fi, it will automatically go up, which is great. Tiles and layout. Um, you can also add some tiles here because, um, no, not because, but um, you will need them. For example, sound. And you can add more. And you can also change the, 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 the size, uh, but where? Here, tiles per row, five. I guess that's perfect for me because I don't need them to be so big. I was fine uh, with the 4.1.2 style where it was just a small bar between my notifications and the time. Let's focus that here. Yep. Yeah, you can change that. And a lot of options here. Quick pull down. That's very cool. It's like on the um, Nexus 7. So um, change it to right, for example. And when to, when you want to go to your to your settings, to your quick settings, swipe here from bottom uh, from top to bottom, and you will get the quick tiles. The yeah, your quick settings. That's very cool. So when you go to the left, you will get your notifications as usual. That's very nice. And yeah, this video is... Um, so it's 30 minutes now. I will now end this video. So many options. Guys, just check it out yourself. All this video will be too long. That wouldn't be also an issue for uploading. But yeah, wanted to give you a quick overview of this awesome ROM. So the important parts are just use the latest Safe Drive Recovery 3.11 and uh, make sure you install it on the uh, third ROM slot. That's very important. And when you all do this, you will have a great phone, very liquid smooth, great theme, great looking ROM, Nova Launcher, very smooth. And yeah, enjoy your races. Have a great day. See you in my next video. Bye.